Alright guys, it's time for the biggest update ever and this is probably the biggest update it's going to get for a long time and as you can see my um, 75 gallon is looking fresh there's obviously no no Oscar, no nothing in there, no ID sharks, no snake heads no African pikes, just goldfish just the basic goldfish and um, if you're wondering where all the all my monsters have gone I um, gave them away you know I just um some guy came and picked him up last night and um yeah I just bought loads of, I just put all the goldfish in there that I had because um I thought it'd just be a lot easier to maintain and shit. So um it does suck that I've um, lost out on all the monsters because it was a good thing to have. And this bloody water won't come off this fucking tank. So yeah, um obviously I'm downstairs now so there's no weight limit so I can have as many tanks as I want basically. But um, yeah, it just sucks that I only got this 75, and uh, I definitely don't have like a ton of other tanks over there that have got all my monsters in it. Nah, I'm just kidding. I totally do. Yeah, you guys are like, what the fuck? He got away with all his monsters? Nah, they're all in here. And uh, this is gonna be a properly long video. So if you're like one of the people who likes to um, know everything that's going on, this is definitely the video for you because it's like a really in detailed video of what I've done. So um. Obviously, as you remember, um, the 75 gallon was upstairs, and yeah, that's it. There was just 75 gallon upstairs, and um, this is the um, this tank right here is what the goldfish were in. So this is what happened. Obviously, the fish, the big fish tank, can't be moved down the stairs with any water in it at all. So, long story short, I put all the fish tanks. I bought this one, and I said it was for the. Um, the uh, barracuda, which it still is, still a barracuda grow out, and then, um, and then in here, they're my Oscars, they're just chilling there on their own, he's trying to attack the e heater, God, don't do that, you stupid retard that's keeping you alive, so um, yeah, he's doing that, and uh, so now obviously, well not obviously, because I've told you, but um, I'm going to keep the, my two breeding Oscars in this tank, you know, it is pretty long, like my dick, yeah, it's pretty wide, so they can turn around. So they can turn around easy. And my Oscars aren't very active swimmers; they just like to defend their nest. Stop it! That's fucking keeping you alive, you dumb fuck. So yeah, obviously that's a new heater in there, and uh, that's the one that was in the seventy-five, and then the one that's in the seventy-five. That was the other one that was in the seventy-five. And um, you guys may have noticed I brought a ton of new ornaments, a, a new gravel, and that tank just looks nuts. It looks awesome, and I could even um. Go turn the lights off quick, just so you can, um, just so you can see. So yeah, there is the um, my seventy-five gallon, and it looks amazing. Obviously, I'm gonna buy a three more bag of rocks, just so it does come right to here at least. I want so um, so you can still see some of the floor. It's not don't have that much. So I only bought three bags. So um, yeah. Also, I got the Placo in there because he's cold water. I got all the other cold water fish I got in, and he's actually really a nice fish. He's a um, a long tail cold fish. And I think that one is as well. And then he's got his buddy. They used to have their own like partner. Like he, there used to be two of those, but one died. That one, that white one there, was the same color as that orange one. That orange one was a lot more orange, and that one was completely orange. Well, I think that one was completely orange one time in this day. But um, obviously, it lost a bit of color. And um, yeah, this guy's still got his pair with that one over there. This one never had a pair, it was just like sort of the um, one off charm in the tank. And um, the best fish in here is probably this Weber Louch. He's huge, like, look, there's my hand. So he's probably about a foot long. And um, he's a slippery motherfucker, like, you know how hard it was to get him out of the tank. And um, obviously, so when I bring. So I had to empty the foot, the foot you saw, obviously, you know, I had that two foot by one by one that I was putting up, that I got rid of apparently, but I didn't, still had it, it was just in the garage, or in the shed, and um, so yeah, I got that back out, put the goldfish in there, had this, and then the Oscar tank obviously empty, so I filled them up with the tank water that was upstairs, and then moved the fish straight down into here, shit man, stop it, you fucking idiots, stop it, stop it. Might have to move that right into the corner because actually 
getting used to their new tank now and they're getting really aggressive so um yeah shit might have to be done there so yeah about moving the fish jesus christ i had a net i had a net that was about that big it's what i moved the id shocks in with at the start and it come up to about their head they would have never fit in that net and um so also we did have a net we we're just trying to catch them with hands and buckets and um that went really 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 bad like it couldn't have gone worse um obviously the first id shark I caught went smoothly come down here put it in the tank and then it just went ape shit and then um we couldn't catch the others no more we could we couldn't catch any afterwards and then um i got the bamboo catfish i don't know where he is i was about to go there but that's not it and um but yeah we got the bamboo catfish and the, so at that point there was one id shark and that was a smaller one and the bamboo catfish in here and then next up it was the pike and holy shit so we see my mom was helping as well and um it was me my uncle and my mom's boyfriend and my mom and we was all trying to get this fish downstairs and uh, obviously obviously um she thought you know get the cute little silver one yeah the cute little silver one would be easy to catch and um as I was trying to go for it, it jumped. Like the fish tank water in the 75 was down to here. And it jumped the whole like two foot high of the of the of my tank. Jumped out of my face and went back in the water. And I sort of had a meltdown. No I'm joking. But um yeah, and then when we caught it again, because what we was doing, because they do jump, all of them, except the Oscars, they were um they were um like I take the, the bucket out and I put a towel straight over it so they couldn't jump and if they did they'd just hit towel. And obviously the pipe was it was taking ages to get the towel up off, off of this like because we had to use the chest of drawers to stand on to get the fish and oh it got stuck under there like the towel and then I went just before I could put it over the the uh, the pipe could just jump straight out of the water behind this chest of drawers so obviously I'm there freaking out I'm like bro this is my fish and then I yanked the chest of drawers forwards the pipe jumped under it and then I let go again of the chest of drawers so it went back down. And if the chest of drawers wasn't just that much tiny off the floor, my pipe would have been squashed. And obviously, like, I was like, where's the fish? Where's the fish? And I was looking all around for it. And was thinking it, like, jumped somewhere else. And then, obviously, I lifted up the, the you know, chest of drawers. And they were like, yeah, it's under it. So I tipped it over. And then I got my pipe with a towel because I'm going to pick it up just because it bites me. And then um, got it straight into this tank. And I thought it was going to die because my pike is probably my less hardiest fish in this tank. Least hardiest. So, like... If I was to, if it was to drop like two centimeters, he'd be the 